Alrighty guys, so in the last video what we did is we created the most boring interface on earth gray with a gray button that says nothing on the button. So let's go ahead and spice this up by adding some color and actually adding some text to the button. So anytime we want to work with color we actually need to import android.graphics.color so now we have the ability to use color dun, dun, dun. all right so the first thing I want to do is actually just change the color of my layout or the background so adding properties is actually really easy choose whatever you want to add a property to in well the properties are different but I know that this one is set background color now since we imported from this graphics library what we can do is call color dot and it gives you a bunch of default ones but uh... I don't know what's a good one green will probably stand out although I think that this green is like lime like very bright green so it'll definitely uh... stand out in the thumbnail so I guess that's good now we have a gray or excuse me a green background in that gray button so I actually want to change this to red since we did name it red button it would only be fair now before I do that I actually want to set the text so of course whenever we use the set text method it's just gonna add text to the button and what do I want to set it to and stupid working alright I'll just write like click me pause alright looks good actually I don't want that mark it looks a little too much if you ask me so now of course we need to set the background color of this to red so red button set background color and color red alright so now our background is green and our button is now red and it says click me Haas on it so let's go ahead and run that and test it out alright so there we have it looking pretty good and for some reason this is reminding me of a ninja turtle right now Raphael okay so I kinda am digging this green color with the red but anyways the next thing I want to do is I want to show you guys how to take this button and position it in the middle of the screen right there so right after your layout and right before your button give yourself some space Ah, oh, there we go I ate a hot pocket like two hours ago and every time I burp it smells like a hot pocket so you know I'm sure you guys are interested in that but essentially what we're gonna do with this button if I could pull this back up is we need to give it some rules and the rules are gonna say okay position yourself in the center of the screen both horizontally and vertically so it's gonna appear right here so the first thing we're actually gonna do is we're gonna make a container to put it in and then we're gonna pretty much take that container and position it in the middle you guys are gonna see in just a second so if you actually call this relative layout dot layout params these layout parameters are just rules for something you want your layout to do so since these are gonna be applied to the button I'm just gonna name these like button details and set this equal to relative layout layout params now inside here what you need to pass in is the height and the width for this container so what we can actually do is take relative layout the layout params and we're gonna call a property called wrap content now what this does is it automatically gets um, the height and the width of your content so let me just finish this real quick and then it'll be easier to see what's going on so again since we need to pass it in the height and the width and actually this is giving me an error because of course since we're setting this equal to an object we have to call new alright so we're passing in the height and the width so what we're gonna say is just get whatever content is in your container it's only gonna be this button we're gonna be sticking in there and then get the height and the width automatically so we don't need to pass in like a fixed value or anything it's really easy that way so now what we want to do is we want to say okay 
take this and position it in the center of your screen. So now that you got everything set up, you can position it wherever you want it. And in order to do that, just take that object, button details, and the rule for it, again, this is pretty much a rule of how you're going to position it, is relative layout dot center horizontal and we're going to add another one to center vertically and then center vertical and then of course that's going to take it and put it in the dead center now in order to actually apply these rules to your button what you need to do is whenever you add your view right now this is just adding the button wherever it um, you know goes by default however if we want to give it an explicit position we just pass in button details and it says okay this adds the button to the layout and this right here is saying how you want to add it so pretty sweet let's run this and make sure we didn't mess anything up all right looking good so in this video now you guys know how to add color how to set some properties for your widgets and also how to position them at least vertically and horizontally on the screen. So in the upcoming tutorials I'm going to show you guys how to have a lot more control and how to create some more awesome layouts. It's going to be awesome. Again if you want the source code for any of this it's going to be on my forum so uh, yeah I'll see you next time.